What's up, everybody? This is all real here, back for a long-awaited <clears throat> episode of bullshit. Where I tell it like it is and not the way it wants to be told. Y'all know the slogan. Um, I don't really have, you know, like a picture that I normally put up, mainly because, and I don't think I told anybody uh, on this channel that, you know, my desktop computer, which I normally you know have these videos uploaded from uh the hard drive gave out it started clicking and anybody who knows anything about computers once the hard drive starts to click then it's only a matter of time you know like before the hard drive gives out so <clears throat> back in september i had uh bought this five hundred dollar laptop an hp pavilion g series 7 just in case anybody's wondering because I know I was going to get those questions in the inbox so it's pretty much no need to do that now but um yeah this video I'm not necessarily sure what I'm going to title this video as you know maybe after I'm done I can come up with a title because right now I just can't think of it because it covers so much that I just pull this a little closer that I just don't know what the title it is at the moment so like I said probably after the video is finished I'll be able to get all that done um yeah what has happened this past year from false predictions people falling for stupidity suicides homicides becoming the new suicides what i mean by that is it, it's it's become like a fashion trend nowadays to where people do these mass homicides i mean like you have the sandy hook shooting in connecticut and after that uh i mean and looked like it was like the sick temple shooting <sighs> then it was the colorado you know theater fiasco you know like with the Batman premiere um, it's really like a pattern here like basically why I made this video is to say that for the most part the Mayans was right that's probably what I'm going to title the video that the Mayans was right now I know y'all going to jump to conclusions like oh my god what do you mean the Mayans was right you know they said something was going to happen on the 21st night and that happened on the 14th no pay attention use your brain for a minute follow me understand where I'm coming from I wouldn't say that like the Mayans said that something catastrophic was going to happen on December 21st that's what they said they said something catastrophic was going to happen mankind took the word catastrophic flipped it into doomsday and said that the world was going to end that's basically how all that goes but um yeah like I would say that the minds were pretty accurate but they weren't precise on what they were speaking on precision mean that they said something was going to happen on the 21st and something you know catastrophic would have happened on the 21st being accurate would be saying that something was going to happen in the month of December I would say that they were accurate on that assumption because something catastrophic did happen in the month of December. Um, you know, it's just crazy to see how many, how many, how much shit has fallen or has followed the ways of Columbine these days. Because you look at all the shootings, the Sick Temple shooting, the Colorado shooting, the Sandy, the Sandy Hook shooting, even the ones that you probably haven't heard of, like it was this this Asian guy, he called up to a, a, an elementary school and he told, I believe it was somebody in the office or like the principal, that he promised them dead students. You know, he, I read that story, I don't have the link to it, but I did read on that, and he promised them dead students. I'm pretty sure somebody who watched this video, uh, like, will um, 
understand, you know, like what I'm talking about. Um, and there was this other guy. Uh, he has this video on YouTube called uh, "Pack Your Bags." Basically, he was just responding to the gun control ban that, you know, and he was just telling people, yo, like, pack your bags, you know, uh, like, go in, you know, uh, like, hit your stretches, et cetera, et cetera, um, like, load up your weapons and things like that, because if they do this ban, then I'm going to start killing people. Why? Why the fuck would you just go around killing people? Like, what benefit do you get from that? I don't get these types of people. Like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Like, what goes through the mind of somebody like that? That just decides that they want to do... They want to just take everybody else out. You know? Like, what the hell? If you're going to kill yourself... For example, like the Sandy Hook shooting. He killed himself after he killed all those kids. If you were going to kill yourself, then why the fuck would you kill all those kids? Why would you make all those families suffer? You know? <clears throat> and of course, Fox News, these motherfuckers, <laughs> they are known for misleading their audience. They're known for being misinformed. They're known for taking shit in and blowing it out of proportion. <clears throat> and they're known for being biased and you know just an like a whole plethora of of negative things fox news is known for this most notably they're known for <clears throat> they like after the sandy hook shooting like a month or two after the sandy hook shooting uh, well i'm saying like a month or two no it was like a week or two after the sandy hook shooting um fox news had decided that they were going to make a news report on how video games are to blame for all of these shootings. <clears throat> now, as much as the fact that I don't need to have to explain that bullshit, I'm going to elaborate anyway. How the fuck are you going to blame mass murders or even gun crimes on video games? Like, what is the sole purpose of that? How can you <clears throat> put video games in the same categories as, as things like, like movies and such? I mean, you can't blame video games for the shit that's been happening. It's called lack of parenting. When you look back on people in the past, like people who were alive like before video games were even made um <clears throat> and, and they did all these mass killings like Adolf Hitler um guys like Jack the Ripper you know like they didn't have access to video games and shit like that and it's many other people you know they didn't have access to video games so where did they get you know like the inspiration for doing what they did to innocent people <laughs> or like you know like where did they develop this this want to go out there and just dominate like that what was the matter with them you know like they didn't have access to video games and I know I'm not explaining this pretty much in like the best way possible cause the way I want to explain it, it's not really being projected, being projected. So please understand where I'm coming from. Um, it's like you can't blame video games for everything that's been happening, and such. Um, <laughs> understand that this video is very unorganized right now. <laughs> you know, like it's not as organized as my previous videos, but. Uh, the message is there though nonetheless <clears throat> like it's just fucked up man like which is probably the reason why I haven't been doing like 
videos on like World Star because I don't go on World Star. Like I've mentioned in past videos on this channel, I don't go to World Star. I don't give two shits, you know, like about the coonery that happens on there. Because that's all you're going to see. People fighting at restaurants, at churches, Popeyes, you know, the club, um, bullshit like that. I haven't been on World Star since, what, 2012, like mid to late 2012. No, like it was before that. It was probably like late 2011. Like I haven't been on World Star in so damn long. I just never cared for it. You know, because it just got to the point where it was like, who the fuck wants to watch this crap? You feel me? It was just uninteresting to, to see all that after a certain point. But, um, yeah, man, this, like, a lot of shit has happened, you know, and it's like these mass shootings are becoming like the new suicide, you, you know, like, it's and the reason why I say it like that is because it's like a fashion trend now, and, and I put that under the category of fashion trend because it's like more and more people are, are getting into it. You know what I mean? Even if you don't read about it, like or like hear about it, you can read about it. You know, it, it's videos on YouTube about, about of new people. Like like I said, after the Sandy Hook shooting, like a little while after that, it was an Asian guy calling up to elementary schools threatening. Or like, or more so like promising dead students. Like, why the fuck would you do that? What have those kids done to you that you want to go there and do that? Like, what? I don't understand, but this shit is out of hand. Um, so I. Like, I'm going to just end the video here. Like, it's just crazy how shit has happened, you know, since the month of December. I think the Mayans were accurate in what they said they were going to do. Just not precise at what day it was going to happen. But they were accurate and said that it was going to happen in December. Even though that, you know, saying something catastrophic was going to happen, you know, that covers a wide range. You know, like, that's so, that's like such a broad statement. Because anything catastrophic can happen at any time pretty much anything can happen at any time anything catastrophic can happen whenever so yeah um I don't have no links to any of these stories but you can find them on YouTube you can google them <clears throat> um you know like the sick temple shooting of course Sandy Hook that's recent so we ain't really gotta look that up uh the, uh, the pack your bags video part one and two like you guys can look at that other people have taken it and they you know done like done like you know their responses to them and such I'm pretty sure like you can find the actual video cause like he didn't take it down like the guy didn't take it down um but yeah you can look at the look at look these videos up and you can see pretty much everything that I'm speaking on it is just what this world is going under fast <laughs> is ridiculous I mean man but yeah I'm gonna end the video here and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just leave y'all with this hey as long as there's bullshit in the world I'm gonna have shit to talk about um I apologize I haven't been consistent with these videos uh because I have a job now I there's a lot of some loud noise in the background, but um, I take classes online at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh. You know, like I, I am going for my bachelor's degree in graphic design. You know, I'm focused on that. It's I, I've been wanting to create video games since I was little. You know, I, I'm a gamer by heart. I just love it. And ever since I was little, I just wondered how did they take these ones and zeros of data and just make it into this magnificent piece of work. You know. You know, as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I was thinking. I was intrigued by video games that much. And, you know, I finally got the opportunity to do it since May of 2012. I've been enrolled in these classes. So, yeah, that's what I've been going for. That's why you haven't been seeing too many videos. My job and my class takes up 
my job and my school, you know, that, that, that pretty much takes up most of my time. Not to mention I have things I need to do around the house. So, you know, pretty much I, I have a life outside of this. But this year I plan on being more consistent with these videos. You guys will, you guys can expect to see more bullshit videos, more battle recaps of, of more battles that I'm going to do, <clears throat> etc. So with that being said, I'm going to end it here. And uh, you guys take care. Peace.